welcome to my video and today I am doing a video showing you some items that I've recently bought from Mooncat and Mooncat is a polish brand based in America and they are 10 free so they're free of 10 of the harmful ingredients found in nail polish and they're vegan and cruelty free and they also donate money and some profits to cat shelters which I absolutely love being an animal lover myself. Anyway, so I actually bought my first moon cat polish quite a few months ago and this one is called Millennia. And I saw a picture of this and I thought, oh, that looks really cool because it's a magnetic polish and it's also quite shifty as well. So it's a bit multi chromey and it's full of little glitters, so little hollow glitters. And I tried this polish. I bought this from a selling site and I think someone was selling off some of their stash. So I thought I'd give it a go. And since trying this polish, I thought, hmm, I like the sound of moon caps. So here's a close up of my thumb. And yeah, I love it. I just think it, it, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like marbles, the toy marbles. It makes your nails look um, three dimensional. So I think this is really cool. So yeah, it is, it is really pretty magnetized or unmagnetized. And even my boyfriend commented on it. He said he really liked it. This is the first time I've worn this polish magnetized because I didn't have a magnet. And I have actually just worn it as it is. And once again, I love it because it goes from like a purple color and then it goes to teal. And I love teal and purple and all the sparkles. And that's what I'm really liking about the magnetic polishes at the moment. You don't have to wear them magnetized. So you sort of get different polishes in one. And what I've done on the sticks as well, if I was, I've actually swatched them plain and magnetized with the cat eye effect and also with the aura or the velvet effect just to show you guys. I was looking at all their reviews and I was watching videos. I've watched so many videos with people recommending certain colors and so on because um, I like seeing what people um, recommend and swatches and that sort of thing. Now one thing I'd like to say about Millennia, because I've seen quite a few people swatching this one and they've been complaining that it's too sheer, I just want to highlight that with this one you need to use it over a dark creme. So it does say in the description to use it over like a black base. So I've actually used it over the Hollow Taco One Coat Black, but Mooncat have their own version called Emo for Life. Or if you don't have a black, then just use it over a dark grey or a dark navy or something like that. But yeah, don't put it on its own if you're expecting it to be opaque in a few coats. Because it won't be, because it's very sheer. And I like it as well, because you're not using up so much polish, so you're using up a creme instead. So on my fingers, I've used one coat of the black creme and then two coats of this polish. And then I found out that Mooncat does a lunar sale where everything is 20% off, um, apart from their collabs, so like their Disney collabs, those aren't included. But I thought I'm going to add lots of things to my wish list. And when they next have a lunar sale, I thought I'm going to buy a few polishes. So I did. <laughs> I've got a few boxes here to show you guys. And I've got myself quite organized as well. What I normally do when I'm doing swatches, I put all sorts of different colors all over my hands and it just looks a bit of a mess. So what I have done is I've got some swatch sticks. So I bought these on Amazon actually. I can put the link in the description. They're only like two pounds something, I think just under three pounds, 279 or something. And you get 50 sticks in here. So I thought I'm going to get organized because I'm a bit of a, a fan of nail polish at the moment. So I'm going to swatch all my hollow taco polishes and my moon cap polishes and my Ollie polishes. And then when I don't know what I want to wear, I can look at my sticks and then I can decide what to go for. And also if my friends want to borrow anything, they can have a look and decide what they want to use as well. So I'll quickly show you what's in here and then what I plan to do is to show you in the bathroom because the lighting in there is a bit better. So what I'll do is I'll show you each polish and the swatch sticks and then you can see what they look like. So when you order your polishes they come in boxes like this. And I did also get a bundle, so I got the base coat. 
So I got this base coat in particular because it's pink base and I thought that would look really good under say like a more sheer polish, like a sheer pink polish. Um, so yeah, I'm using this today. And then in here I also got the Speed Demon top coat. So this is a quick dry top coat. So once again, I have got this on my nails over top of Millennia. And then part of that bundle was the Nail Elixir. So this has got Marula and Jojoba oils in. And I thought it would be good to try it out because it was cheap as a part of a trio. It had a discount plus a 20% discount as well. And I thought it would be good um, to compare it. I'm currently using the Holo Taco one. So I thought I'd give this one a go as well. Okay, and then we have all the polishes and I have opened them all up and swatched them all. So I will show you all of these. And I've got quite a variety of different colours as well. I thought I'd try going out of my comfort zone a little bit um, because some of them got amazing reviews. And I have got a mixture of some magnetics and some shimmers and some multi-chromes as well. Plus I also got some of the Alice in Wonderland collection because I missed out on the actual collection box but I wanted to try a few of the polishes so I've got three of those here as well which I can show you and the reason I've got so many is because you have to spend a certain amount to get free shipping and so I thought you know what I'm going to spend the maximum and then I can get the free shipping and then I can get the maximum discounts and then this will keep me going until next year I've got so much polish now I can set up a little polish shop and then also included in this lot I've also got a possible dupe for hollow taco spirit fingers so I have painted it on a swatch stick so I'll show you guys and then I'll let you know what I think as well okay so I'm in the bathroom now and the lighting here is just generally better but yeah this is to give you an idea of what millennia looks like with the magnetized with the cat eye effect but yeah, I love it. So I love all the colours in there. Um, you can sort of see a little bit of a magenta little stripe there. And then it's got all the hollow sparkle as well. And yeah, it literally does look like a marble on your nails. And then this is what it looks like with the aura effect. So it, it makes it look like quite velvety. So it, once again, it gives it like a 3D effect. For those that don't know, with the aura effect, all you do is you paint your polish on your nail as normal and then you hover the wand, the magnetic wand, around your nail and it sort of brings all the magnetic pigment to the top. So that's what gives it the velvet effect and you literally just keep moving it around until the pigment stops moving. So yeah, I think it's quite a cool effect, especially on another polish I'm going to show you. I actually think I prefer the velvet effect or aura effect rather than the magnetic effect. And then if you can't be bothered with the magnetic and you haven't got time, then this is what it looks like just painted over a dark base. So it's still really pretty. And this is how I've worn it before. So it does have like a multi-chrome effect. So you get the teal and then the purple and then it goes quite dark as well, but sparkly. And then the next polish I have is called Mercury's Tears. And this is so pretty when it hits sunlight or LED lighting like here in the bathroom. So it, it's got like a blue base, but it shifts around with lilac, a bit of pink, gold, you can see a bit of aqua. So yeah, this is really stunning as well. And this is what it looks like on the swatch stick. So yeah, predominantly blue. And then you've got like a lovely, pretty pink to goldish shimmer running all the way through it. And what I've done on the swatch sticks, just for future reference, I've actually put down how many coats of polish was required to get it opaque. So um, yeah, two means two coats and then three means obviously three coats. Now this one is a very new release. So they only bought this one out when the lunar sale started. And this one's called Your Heart's a Black Hole. This is a red magnetic polish with lots of sparkle in. You can wear it like this if you want to. I love this colour actually. It's a really deep like scarlet red. So I love this sort of shade of red. If you want to wear it magnetised, the cat eye effect on this one's actually quite strong as well. 
And this is what it looks like magnetized with the cat eye effect. So you can see it shifting around. And just be aware that these swatch sticks, these were painted three days ago now. So with the magnetic polishes, you find that over time, the magnetic pigment will start to break up a little bit, but I still think this is fairly strong actually. And I love this color. I think this is such a flattering and also quite a vampy color as well and perfect for Christmas. So yeah, I'm loving this one. Probably one of my favorites actually. And then I've also done this one with the aura effect or velvet effect. And this really does look stunning. It does look like red velvet. So I love this one um, with the velvet effect. So yeah, very impressed with this polish. And this was opaque in two coats for me on the sticks. So if you're thinking about it and you haven't decided, I would highly recommend this one. This is a beautiful red polish. And this next one I've got is called Heart of Stone. And this is a polish which changes from like a pinky color to gray. Let me see if I can shift it around a bit. There you can see it's sort of shifting to gray at certain angles, but it's so full of sparkle as well. So I'm generally impressed with this polish too. And this is what this one looks like on the swatch stick. So the thing I like about these swatch sticks is you can actually put it on the end of your nail and then see what it's going to look like. So yeah, so I'm going to get organized with all my polishes and get everything swatched. And this one was also opaque in two coats on the swatch stick. The next one I ordered is part of the bundle called the Misfits. And these were some polishes that were rejected, so there were some rejected prototypes, but um, Michelle, the owner of Mean Cat, decided to release them as a little bundle of four rejects, and she called them the Misfits. But yeah, this is absolutely stunning. So this one really shifts about. So you've got a lovely light wine, fuchsia, gold, pink. Yeah, absolutely love this one. And this one is called Sin Eater. And once again, I got this one opaque in two coats. So yeah, once again, I think this is quite flattering on my skin tone. So I'm gonna love using this one, especially when I can't be bothered to use a magnet. But yeah, in reality, there's lots of really subtle shimmer and uh, really sparkly so yeah i love this color and then the next one i got is called poseidon's prize and this is another one which is also magnetic but it also has reflective glitters in it so i don't know if you can see that angle but you can see lots of silver reflective glitters once again as soon as i bought this in the bathroom i was like wow that is so pretty so once again, I have painted with the magnetic effect on Poseidon's prize. And also I've done the velvet aura effect. And I think it looks really pretty with both and very sparkly because of those reflective glitters. And I like this sort of color as well. And this isn't normally a color I would go for. I'm not a huge fan of orange polishes, but this one gets amazing reviews. And this is called Fly to the Monarchs. But in sunlight, this one shifts from like a, a goldy orange to a pink as well. So once again, it's really shifty. And I thought this will be a beautiful polish for spring and summer. So for this one, I did need three coats to get it opaque. But once again, really sparkly. You can sort of see the pink more on the swatch stick, I think, than in the bottle. Yeah, so I thought I would give this one a go because it just got such great reviews and I just thought this would be great for the summer months when the sun comes back out. And then next up we have another magnetic polish and this is called Illusionist. So yeah, this one once again is just full of hollow sparkle and it's like a sort of a whiny sort of colour. But I'll show you the swatch sticks and you can see what it looks like magnetized and unmagnetized. So with this one also, I want to highlight the Illusionist is the same as Millennia. So you need to put it over a darker creme base. So I've actually put it over I'm Over Brew, which is a, a polish from Hollow Taco. Um, but Moon Cat have something that they recommend as well. I can't remember the name of it now, but I thought I'm just gonna use what I've already got. 
But yeah, once again, it is quite sheer when it goes on, so make sure you put it over a wine or burgundy coloured base. So the top one obviously is the cat eye effect and I love it. So you get like a pinky stripe and a bit of a gold as well. And then the bottom is just painted normally. I haven't done this one with the aura effect. This one is just painted normally over I'm over brew. And yeah, once again, if you don't have time for the magnetics, then you can just use it as a normal polish. See, that's what I'm liking. You sort of get three or four polishes in one, just normal, cat eye, velvet or aura effects. And you do have other magnetic effects that you can try as well, which I haven't tried yet. The next one I got is called Moonrise and this is part of the Rodeo collection that came out recently which has been a massive hit with everybody. So this one is a pink polish but it has a blue shimmer in there and it also has lots of gold sparkles so yeah really pretty and quite shifty as well. And then this is what it looks like on the swatch stick. And once again, I thought this one would be perfect for spring, summer. And I got this one opaque in three coats. So this is one I think would be ideal over that pink base coat. Um, incidentally, I have reviewed the Nightmare Before Christmas range as well, because I did get that collection box. Once again, I think that's what made me pull the trigger on these, because I was so impressed with that collection box. I thought, yeah, I'd like to try some more Mooncat polishes. Next up we have a polish which once again gets amazing reviews and this is called Mermaid Bait and you can see why it's called a Mermaid Bait so it's a really shimmery pretty aqua blue colour with pink and a bit of gold and a little bit of green this is what it looks like on the swatch stick and once again I've done this in two coats But yeah, what a pretty colour. I just love the way these polishes shift around. And yeah, I think I'm quite impressed with their magnetic formula and their shimmers and shifty formulas. Very good. And then, as I said, I've got three of the Alice in Wonderland collab polishes. And look at the boxes. Aren't they just brilliant? The detailing. So you've got designs on the side. And even the inside of the box has got details as well. If you know anybody that loves Alice in Wonderland and nail polish, this would make an absolutely perfect gift for Christmas. So the first one I got is called Mad Hatter and I think this is the favourite of the collection. I was reading reviews and this has got over a thousand reviews already. And um, once again, you can either wear it as it is, so it's a really sparkly green polish with like, you can see lots of blue sparkle in there as well, but it is a magnetic. So when you use the magnet, you get a strong green stripe and then the sides around it go dark. So here you go, so here you've got it unmagnetised if you just want to wear it as it is. Then once again it is a very pretty sparkly green polish. Quite a nice one for Christmas actually. But otherwise here it is with the cat eye effect. So what I can see here is like a, a bright emerald green and then a darker like tealy green stripe. Shifting around, surrounded by lots of sparkles. And here you go, as a comparison, I thought I'd show you it in case you're thinking about getting it. So Mad Hatter on the right and then Millennia over black on the left. So you can see the colours are slightly different. But if you don't want more than one polish, and I think both of them, I think both of them are stunning, but you could always just stick with one of them. So there you go, once again, Mad Hatter unmagnetised on the right here. So it's definitely more green. And then this one is a bit more teal and a bit more, you get to see a bit more of the purple as well. So both stunning polishes. The next one I got, and this is another one from the Alice in Wonderland collection, and this is called A Very Merry Unbirthday. And I couldn't decide between this one or Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat is another magnetic polish. 
But I liked the way that this one shifts around so much. You get purple, you've got blue, you've got like a, a fuchsia pink and a bit of gold. So yeah, this one drew me in, I think, because it shifts around so much. So this is what it looks like on the swatch stick and it is such pretty polish. I did get this opaque in three coats. I probably sound like a broken record, but I have to say I'm really impressed with all of these polishes so far. And the next one from the Alice in Wonderland collection is called Bread and Butterflies. And this one is described as an optional magnetic, so it was cheaper than the other magnetic polishes. I think it's, they described it as that because the magnetic stripe isn't as strong. So if I show you, I think it's fairly strong. So you can see the stripe there quite clearly. So yeah, it definitely makes the outsides of the polish look darker, but it's got lots of little shifty flakies in there as well. So really pretty, especially, I just think this will look stunning in sunshine, especially in the spring and summer. So that's why I went for this one. So here it is. Um, on the top, I've used three coats to get it magnetized. And then on the bottom, I've just used two coats, but I used the aura effect. So once again, you've got options. I think it looks really pretty with the aura effect. It has this like a goldish shimmer, like limey goldish shimmer that runs through it. But then you've also got the option of having the shifty stripe running through. So yeah, I just think this is a really pretty polish for maybe even Christmas again because of the gold and also for spring and summer. Okay, and then the final polish is called Smoke Screen. And this, I think, is a really good dupe for Hollow Taco Spirit Fingers. So if you missed out on Spirit Fingers, I would definitely give this one a look. As you can see, it's grey, but when you move it to certain angles, you get like a pink shimmer, like a magenta pink, lots of hollow sparkle. And also, this one is also magnetic as well. So there you go, you can see it shifting around. But I have painted it on swatch sticks, and now I'm going to test you. So, without revealing which one is which, can you tell which one is Mooncat and which one is Polotake Spirit Fingers? They're very similar in certain angles, aren't they? Especially that angle, I think they're very similar. So yeah, have you guessed? Can you tell the difference? So on the left is Smoke Screen and then on the right is Spirit Fingers. And I've used three coats of each one as well. So same sort of coverage really. Let me show you from a different angle. But yeah, it's actually a really good dupe, I think. Both very, very pretty. I absolutely love Spirit Fingers. So yeah, it's really nice that there is a dupe there for anybody that did miss out because that one was limited edition. And then what I've also done is I've also painted it with the cat eye effect. So you get predominantly gray with a pink flash and it has a little bit of a gold line going through it as well. But you know what? I think I actually prefer it on its own without the cat eye. But I've also painted it with the aura effect and I really like that. It really brings out the pink. So if I show you from a different angle, it brings out the pink and then you can also see, I don't know if you can see down there, a little bit of a gold um, like shimmer as well, micro shimmer. So yeah, and all of these are all three coats. And then once again, there you can see the regular without doing anything with the magnet on top and then with the aura effect on the bottom. But yeah, what do you think? Do you think this is a really good dupe? Because I do. I actually ended up showing my boyfriend and he said it's the same polish, isn't it? Yeah, so he couldn't tell the difference, which is good because then that shows that the average person probably won't be able to tell the difference. I mean, close up, I can see that there is more of a gold, there's like definitely a gold shimmer in the smoke screen. But I don't think it, it, it looks that much different. So if you missed out on Spirit Fingers, try getting this one. 
Yeah, really, really pretty. And you can see the gold and the pink shimmer shifting around and all that hollow sparkle as well. So yeah, it's nice to know that there's something else that we can get in today because Spirit Fingers won't be back. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments the polishes that you like, um, which ones you recommend, which are your favourites. Let me know definitely what you think about this smokescreen polish and especially if you've got it as well, if you've already used it and you've got it. I think I heard on Reddit that um, it was a dupe so that's why I thought yeah I've just got to try it so this was one of the first polishes on my order list. So if you like nail polish, um, I do quite a few um, polish videos. I really like Holo Taco, I love Minka, I like Orly. And um, I also do lush videos, body shop videos, general haul videos. So if you're interested, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I also have a giveaway coming up at 900 subscribers, so not far away now. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll hopefully catch you on another video.